Wakey wakey. Hello. We're home. Where are we? <laughs> right in front of the gate. Oh, God. What time is it? <laughs> Almost seven. Thank you for a wonderful night out. I really enjoyed myself. It wouldn't have meant a thing to me if I didn't spend it with the most beautiful woman in the world. You flatter me. No. I don't flatter you. I make statements of facts. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's time for your beauty sleep, okay? So what's the day going to be like? I'm going to rush over to the office and do some work. Rush over to the office? It's Saturday, for Christ's sake. I know. I, I promised the client that I'll be there today. I need to go fulfill that promise. <sighs> so, will I see you later? Yep. You just go take your beauty sleep. When you wake up, take a bath, perfume your body, and come on oh. over and miss the love boy. <laughs> okay. I'll see you later. See you later, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. 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 Anyone who has a honk like you for a boyfriend would be very demanding. Okay. Thank you. But right now all I want to do is just eat, put some food in my system. I actually prepared something for us to eat. I'm reluctant, but since I know it's going to give you some energy for the task ahead, I will agree. The task ahead? <laughs> <laughs> my mom says to say hi to you. She's dying to meet you. Yeah, I'm dying to meet you too. Seriously, when you meet her, you will fall in love with her. She's the most beautiful woman in the whole wide world. Yeah, everybody says that. You know, my mom is the most beautiful woman in the world. Not just saying that. I know she is. She allows me to do whatever I want to do. Oh, okay. Now I see what adds to the beauty because she allows you to do what you want to do. No, not just that. She is really big. Shh, okay. <laughs> okay. I agree. Totally, that your mom is the most beautiful woman in the world. But right now, all I want to do is just put some food into my system and see if it will give me enough energy to satisfy the whims and caprices of a woman who is bent on making me watch out. <laughs> <laughs> let's do that. Come on, let's feed you up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Off you go. All right. <laughs> For the task ahead. <laughs> <laughs> What's 
started like a joke has turned out to become a major industry. My sister, I should have joined them in the beginning. Really? I hear this one now collects one million naira in every film that he fishes in. And he's working every week. Oh. Don't you know him? He used to live very close to my house in Sulere now, the one that comes to collect credit in your house. Remember now? <laughs> my sister, mm. I hear the industry is the third largest in the world now. They've even given it a name. Nollywood. Thank you. That shows you what our people can do when they put their money together. Are you telling me? <laughs> Larry, That's you, Che. Uh, Where have you been? I've been around the world. Oh. My girl, you are way. Yes, yeah, sorry, it's raining outside. So, how have my little girl been? Fine. You call this one little girl. Clara now has a boyfriend. Really? We don't even see her at home anymore. Uh, uh, mommy, that's not fair. No. It's true now. Okay, ask her where she's coming from. But you don't <laughs> mind us. <her. laughs> so, you like your mom. <laughs> anyway. Damien said to give this to you for producing a daughter as beautiful as moi. Mm. So, who is Damien? The boyfriend you're talking about. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, this is beautiful. I must admit, he has a taste. Of course, I wouldn't be with him if he did not. Aha! Mm. Uh -huh. So, we are finally admitting that we have something to <laughs> with Damien guy. <laughs> Can I see? Where on earth did you learn to make love like this? God damn, Risa! <laughs> Nobody teaches a woman how to make love. God mm -hmm. put it there when he made us. Uh, but my mother helped out. She gave me a couple of hints, you know, like the do's and don'ts. Guys, you, 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 you seem to be quite close. I grew up with her alone. My father died before I was born, mm. so she's been like father and mother to me at the same time. I tell her everything, and she tells me everything. Uh, we're more like sisters, you know, more than mother and daughter. Mm. And I insist that it's about time that you meet her. Well, not yet, you know. I want to be sure that I'm not making a mistake. Do you think I'm a mistake? Of course no. I'm just teasing you. I mean, if this whole thing will end today, I know in my heart of hearts that I haven't made a mistake. Not at all. What's the matter? What no. are you thinking of? No, no. You don't want to hear this. Yes, I do. No way. You don't want to hear this. No, you don't. I mean, this is weird. You know, look, I, I, I used to know a girl, all right? And you guys, you behave the same way. You know, you take care of your man the same way. And, and Now, this is the weird part. You make love the same way. I mean, just the way you make love to me. That's, that's how she used to make love to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> for real. You're getting jealous now. No, no, there's no need for you to be jealous. I mean, this was like way, way back in the days, you know? When I was a teenager and I was just, you know, getting my groove on and all that. But you know, you guys just, it's weird. Oh, damn, I'm in the mood, man. I can't believe this. I'm in the mood. Come on, show me some of those things, you know, those magical things that could just make me say things that Don't I never Don't you thought. get tired. See who's talking? Don't you get satisfied? You could have said no. <laughs> <laughs> He's tall, dark, handsome, and smooth. The kind of guy every girl is dreaming about. He makes me feel like a woman. And how should a woman feel? I don't know. All I know is that with him, I feel like a woman. You still have not told me how you people met. 
had just finished my lectures and I was walking towards the gate to see if I could catch a cow before the rush started. And this jeep draws up to me. Glass winds down and a rich, deep baritone voice says, Such legs should not be walking the streets. Wherever it is you're going, hop in. I will take you there. <laughs> Mom, when he spoke, goosebumps appeared all over my body. I ignored him and walked on, of course. He came down from the car and said to me, If you will not ride with me, no problem. I will walk with you. <laughs> I had no choice then. That's that laughing. He is really smart. You do not approve? I never said that. But I know men. I want you to be very careful. I don't want you to get hurt just like I did. You got hurt? I thought daddy was the only man you ever loved. There was somebody else when I was much younger. He made me fall in love with him. Got me pregnant. Broke my heart into a thousand pieces. And left. Oh God, mom. That's really terrible. So what happened to the pregnancy? I aborted it against the wishes of my parents and they threw me out of the house. I shouldn't have done that. I regretted ever doing that. But then I was just a teenager at the age of entering the university. I should have known better. Then your daddy came along. He was sweet and comforting. But I never loved him with the same passion that I loved my first boyfriend. Your daddy asked me to marry him. I agreed. He got me pregnant. And traveled to Abuja. That was the end of the story. He never came back from Abuja. He died on his way. to be careful. Men are never there when you need them. My dear, be careful. the girl that makes my world stand still. The other day you told me I make the world go round. Well, it depends on my mood. Right now you make the world stand still. I'm cold and seeing you has made the world a much better place to be in. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Vanessa, come, 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 come. This is my friend Vanessa. Hi. Oh, hi Vanessa. Nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Well, oh, finally. Lost. I met him. Oh, no. Well, finally, I think the beautiful ones have been born. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Vanessa, this is my boyfriend, Damien. You can see that. You so didn't tell me. Oh, well, I intend to change that tag. Change what? Boyfriend. To what? Well, that's my business. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she keeps talking about you, me. As in, not as if I get tired of hearing you anyway, but don't oh, get hope she, tired she of hasn't hearing. told you that I'm an arm robber yet, no? Hmm? Not yet. She just keeps saying so many beautiful, sweet things about you. You need to hear them one of these days. Oh, good. Well, for saying all the beautiful things about me, 
I'm gonna take you to the best restaurant in town tonight. Sister. I hope that will meet your approval. Perfect. Um, got you something. Oh. Lunch. Oh. Uh, there is enough for the two of you in there. Unless, of course, you want to turn into sumo wrestlers. Oh, not on your life. <laughs> that's very sweet. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, so I'll pick you up at 8. Okay. And maybe I'll see your mom today. I'll tell you. Okay. That's it. Okay. like Irish cream. You get into my head. And you are like a ray of sunlight in the winter. You brighten up the day. Oh, we are waxing poetic tonight. You started it. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Thank you. You ready? Your mom? Yes, I am. Uh, I didn't meet her at home. She left a message that she'll be in late. Well, I thought I'll meet her today. Come on. Another time. you mean to me and how much I love you and this is also to say that may you never lose that which makes you yeah. I love you too um, it's not finished yet you will make me the happiest man on earth if you say if you agree to marry me. Accepting this has made me the happiest woman on earth. Nice with me.
first. I'm not moving from here unless you carry me in. What for? Haven't you heard of carrying someone over the threshold before? Oh, no, no, no. That is after you get married. Well, you can start practicing right now. Now? Yes. <laughs> ah! That's better. Oh, um, are you sure we'll make it to the, to the uh, Yes, we will. Are you sure we'll make it? See where you know you got your beauty and attribute from. Your mom is absolutely beautiful. I told you so. Thank you. I'm flattered. Oh no, no, I can't say that it's flattering, mom. Why she's so excited about you? Um, your daughter, she told me everything about you. She's absolutely right. She says you're the most beautiful thing. You're the most beautiful thing to happen to woman who is. She's, she's right. Can I offer you? Oh, no, no. I, I'm absolutely fine. In the circumstances, I don't think that there is anything. I would want to take, we're just coming back from dinner. Okay. No, I do not agree. Um, so listen, I really need to go. Um, that will have to wait. I'll take a red check on that. I, I, I have to be in court tomorrow morning. Yes. But before you go, my daughter tells me that you just proposed to her. Yes, yes. I happen to think that, like her mom, she's the most beautiful woman in the world and she will make a uh, fine wife to somebody. Yeah. And that somebody is you. <laughs> yes. All of me. <laughs> but uh, we'll have to see how that works out. Yeah. Okay. Gotta go. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay. Ciao. <laughs> Thing that you said she is. Look, I gotta go. All right. Yes, see you tomorrow. Yeah, you will. All right. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think, Mom? It's fine. Just that. 
more than you want me to think. I'm going to make somebody a wonderful wife. Did you just hear me say that? So early. I thought I'd missed you actually. Mom prepared some pikudu last night, mm -hmm. and I remembered you said it was your favorite. Mm -hmm. So I brought you some for your lunch. Oh. How thoughtful. What am I going to be your wife for if I can't even take care of you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to run, I have an early lecture. Okay. Um, but call me. Yeah? Do. So, so I know where you are. Okay. And one more thing. Can I get your mom's number? Huh. You want to ask if I've been a good girl, right? Well, I have a right to have my mother-in-law's number, don't I? Of course you do. There you go. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Love you. Love you. Bye. Kiss, kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good of you. got my message. I didn't get your message. Oh, you didn't get it? Mm -mm. Okay. For the benefit of both of us. Uh, I want you to be my girl. Huh? Yeah. I want you to be my girl. I, I can't be your girl. Moreover, I have a boyfriend. You have a what? I have a boyfriend. Anyway, tell your so-called boyfriend that it's over between you and him. Yeah. Uh, I hope you really know who I am. I am virus, and I do not talk too much. By eight, 
I want to see you around my place. Huh? Hey, right? See ya. This is beautiful. Thank you. Ah, I'm sure it's very expensive. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Some people have all the luck in the world. Look at me. I'm still being chased around by all these useless campus boys. Oh. Cult boys for that matter. Well, you. You're yeah, snaring the hottest guy in town. And snare is hardly the word I'll use to describe our relationship. Really? I still know some people that will go green with everyone who oh, hear this. That's their business. We are a perfect couple. Uh -huh. And you know what? What? He took to my mom immediately. <laughs> this morning, he collected her phone number from me. And I'm sure that right now, they are sharing information <laughs> on me. And I trust your mom so. <laughs> Man, girl, this is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> like we've gone anyway, in for lectures, though. Let's go. Let me not stay here. <laughs> Try and find out the kind of person your daughter is getting married to. I know all I need to know about him. Everything considered, I think that it would be nice for us to get together and talk things over. I don't think there's anything to talk about. Oh, there is. There's plenty to talk over. Meet me at the Lagoon restaurant tomorrow for seven. All right, all right. If at all we have to talk, it has to be in my house, where Clara has gone to school. Uh, you want an environment you can control, right? Maybe. <laughs> okay, Mary, I can concede that. Okay, then, tomorrow at your place then. Right.
The years may have passed, Marian, but nothing much has changed. Nothing. Nothing much. Get out of here now. The days may pass by, the seasons may come and go, the nights may turn into day, but deep inside our hearts, we never change. That is the way God made it. much. I just haven't had a very good day at work. And um, if you don't want me to take it all out on you, I think you better best go home and I'll call you when you're in a better mood. Okay? And give my regards to your mom. Alright. That's how you want it. Back, I stopped over to see Damien and find out how he was doing. He told me he'd had a bad day and that he wasn't going to see me. Something must be terribly wrong with him. I've been worried sick. What am I going to do? Mom? Mom, what is wrong? How's your mom? How would I know? She was behaving the same way. It was almost as if both of you made a pact to make me miserable yesterday. There are days like that. Don't let it happen too often. Okay. I didn't know what to do with myself all of yesterday. That is because you're too emotional. I got a lot of work 
to do today. And I was thinking I would go catch lunch, but we're going to have to postpone that for dinner. Okay? It's fine by me. Good. Um, and I can't drop you in school either. It's okay. I know. I have a lot of work to do. A wife is a helpmeet, not a burden. So, what did you say happened? It is the end of the world. When she was going on and on about this guy that she met, I never knew it was going to end up like this. Honestly, I would have advised her not to get involved with anybody yet. You know, I don't see what has gone terribly wrong for now. Yes, you dated Damien when you were both young, but that is all in the past. What happened between Damien and I is not what you can forget and throw into the past. He took my virginity. He got me pregnant. He broke my heart and abandoned me. Now, he resurfaces, saying he wants to marry my daughter. Honestly. I have this feeling that he knows she's my daughter. All he wants to do is to torment me. Miriam, there's no way he would have done that. And there's no way I will allow him marry my daughter. Now look, if your daughter finds happiness in his arms, then I don't see why not. Uchi, what about me? Uchi, what do you want me to do? You want me to sit by and watch two of them get married? Uchi, tell me, how am I going to face them? No, tell me, how am I going to behave in their presence? Simple. Like a mother and a mother-in-law will behave. Okay. You've never experienced love until you experienced it with me. My mother told me that. That's how boys talk. What does a man mean? Anybody need love to be for you? Ten men. You are spoiled too. Who God have mercy on you? For the love of God, I made love making in the first place. Why should he now decide to have mercy on me? Child goes on to teach you what he should know and enjoy.
the white handed. Go in and get See me. I'm sorry, I can't see you. The last time that we saw, what shouldn't have happened happened. For Christ's sake, you are my daughter's fiance. For the sake of my daughter's happiness. I'm sorry, I can't see you. Marion, for Clarice's happiness, I suggest that you see me. Because if you don't, I can tell you that I will never ever see Clarissa again. Is that a threat? No. It's not a threat. It's, I'm afraid it's a guarantee. Good morning. 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 Good It's my 
ないお母さんはバーッとあんみつお母さんお子ちゃん Damien, his kidman told me that he traveled this morning without telling me. I've been calling him since and he has refused to pick my calls. Maybe he didn't travel with his phone. Why would he travel without his phone? Mom, maybe you should call him. Maybe he would answer you when you call on your line. Territory, you better come over to my place right now. Maybe when we finish talking, I just might consider seeing her again. Okay, okay. You win. Good. I wait. You better come right in. Maybe you should say whatever you want to say. It is late and I should get him home. Enough that you ruined mine? Marian, I was young. I was foolish. I was stupid. I, in retrospect now, maybe I shouldn't, shouldn't have left. I should never have left you. I mean, since I left, I haven't found a woman that could calm all the raging fires that burns inside of me. Maybe that was why I was so eager to settle down with Clarissa and marry her because she's your daughter and you both come from the same stock. I was so eager to settle down with Clarissa and marry her because she's your daughter and you both come from the same stock. And now? And now? I to show her no more. You're not serious. Do you want to kill her? That girl is so sold out on you. If anything should go wrong, definitely she'll go mad. Carissa is a girl that loves passionately. What about you, Marion? What about you? I mean, I remember that you used to love even a lot more passionately than your daughter. I remember how he used to just tremble. 
how you moan under me. You know, I mean, those pictures are in my head. They are planted in my mind. Look at me. Look at me, Marion. They will never, ever be erased. Stop. Stop. Stop this. It's not right. I remember walking into your house. I saw you. When I saw you, it just... It changed everything. I looked at you and I remember. I remembered how your hair looked. You know, when, with the light behind your head and your hair blowing in the wind. And, and I realized that, that I love you, Marion. But I, I, I want you. I've always wanted you, and and I want you now. And Marion, nothing, not even Clarissa or any woman can. Stop, please. I beg you, in the name of God, don't do this to me, to Ross. She loves you. So I, I, I had to prepare something for him to eat. Thank you, Mom. You're the best. I knew there was something wrong when Wendy pick up the phone. Going right away. What? That he still feels the same way he used to feel when we were dating. Does Clarissa know anything about this? And you? How do you feel about it? Gee, I don't know. I'm completely confused. But oh God, I don't know what to do or think. How can I be fighting over one man with my daughter? Point of correction, Miriam. Fighting over a man with your daughter. For goodness, there's one sick man out there whose mission is to bring joy and love between Clarissa and yourself. And you're so stupid to encourage him. You don't understand. I am not encouraging him. I feel the same way. Whenever he walks in, I lose my senses. I don't just know how to control this thing. I don't know. I will tell you how. You will go back home and tell Clarissa what's going on. You will tell her you once dated Damien and you don't think it wise for her to get married to you. Gee, I can't. I love Clarissa. If marrying Damien would make her happy, then let her go ahead and marry him. Is something wrong with your brain? 
Damien doesn't want to marry Clarissa. He wants you. Now tell me how Clarissa will feel when she finds out that. You have someone to disturb you. <laughs> At least you have someone giving you expensive. Money. It's not about the kids. It's not about the kids. It's about him. I don't know what's really happening. He loves I'm you. Just... I really think he loves you. That's what I feel anyway. He shows it in every possible way, girl. Come on. I don't know exactly what is going on. How do looks you mean? Like... He looks like he's sleeping away from me. <laughs> every day he grows a little more distant. He don't even laugh as much as we used to laugh anymore. He just buries himself in his work. Maybe that's actually the problem. Maybe he's just working, you know, working hard and all that. He has working. always worked hard, but that has never prevented him from loving me. Don't you think you're sounding a little too desperate here? I mean... Okay, I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound that way. I love him. I can't bear to lose him. Because if I do, I'd rather not be alive. It means the whole world to me. And stop. Just breaking up, okay? Hmm? I've been waiting for you. I didn't go to work. I thought you would call or come over. I never told you I was going to come to you. You didn't? Please, leave this moment. Leave? Yes. Why, Mary? Why? Tell me that what happened between us was an accident. Tell me that you did not enjoy every minute that you spent in my arms. Marion, look at me in the eyes and tell me that you do not want me. Right now. Tell me to go away. Tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me to go away. Responsibilities, and I need to just pace myself so I can be here for you when you need me. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Risa. Hey, Marion, how you doing? The way you left me. 
I know it must be frustrating, you know, when you can't do what you want to do when you want to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wanted to take you right there on the floor. So, what do you think? You want to come over to my place so we can both make some ripples? I'm not coming over to your place. Now or ever. Please. Leave me alone. Stay away from me. <laughs> you expect I would do a stupid thing like that? You're making me do things that are beyond the bounds of comprehension. You're turning me into a demon. How would my daughter feel if she finds out? If she finds out? For Christ's sake, she almost got us. Well, save us all the trouble and tell her. Tell her what? Tell her that you love me, that you would rather be with me than any other man in this whole world. You're insane. No, not insane. Just a man who knows what he wants and will stop at nothing to get it. So, catch my drift. If you don't, I'll tell her myself. Are you still? Are you? Are you there? Oh, Marion, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Any problem? There is no, but I would like to talk to you. What about? It's about Damien. What about Damien? I think you should not go ahead with this plan of marrying him. <laughs> I did not hear what you just said. I didn't. If only you would come down and listen to me, you will understand. I am sorry, but I'm not listening to any rubbish. Damien has asked me to marry him, and I have said yes. Why would I suddenly now decide not to marry him again? And I will not take it kindly with anybody. And I mean anybody who wants to destroy my happiness. Including you, Mom. Go into the guest room. Shut the door on your way out. Clarissa! So what are you doing here? How have you gone dumb? I don't understand you. You don't understand? Did your mom give you my message? I told your mom to tell you that you are no longer welcome here.
Don't talk to me. Were you not the one who advised me the other day not to marry Damien anymore? Who knows what you've got to tell him that he has decided not to see me again? Baby, God knows I never told him anything. Then why did he tell me not to come to his house anymore? Why did he throw me out of his house? He threw you out of his house? Yes! Mom, I don't know what I've done to Damien. I don't know why he's treating me like this. There's this sudden change in him towards me. It looks like he's slipping away. Mom, help me. He told me that he likes you. If you talk to him, he will listen to you. Help me. If he tells me it's over, you threw my daughter out of your house. Who the hell do you think you are? Daughter, you should leave me alone. Okay? I'm no longer interested in this madness. You think it's easy for you to use people and dump them? After what you did to me, you think I'll allow you to do the same to my daughter? Are you here for Clarissa? Or you're here for yourself? Marion, I'm going to have you on my own terms. Not yours. Tell your daughter it's over between us. To be easier for us all. Why don't you tell her yourself? I will if you want me to. But I have a feeling, Marion, that you didn't come here for your daughter. Hey. Face it, you can't stay away. I'm sure I want to hold you. Make love to you. Mm. I'm not afraid to say how I feel about you, or why should you be afraid to say the same? Mm. I called her 
all day and, and, and she refused to pick my calls. She didn't refuse to pick up the phone. I was in the lecture hall. I didn't even hear it ringing because it was on silent mode. Is that why he asked me to get out of your house? Lisa, come. Come. Come, Risa. You heard me. We don't need that anyway, do we? <laughs> tears will not solve this now. This is the last time I'll stand here and watch you cry this because time. I am in love. Can't you understand what I'm saying? Have you never fallen in love before? Yes, I have. I fell in love with only one man, my husband. I'm still in love with him. And when I fell in love with him, I fell in love with my eyes wide open. My eyes are not shut. No, they're not. They're screwed down with bolts and knots. Listen. Listen. You have to talk to your daughter. That's why I'm here. I have decided to tell her. But I cannot do it all alone. I need you to be there. No. This is a very private matter between both of you. I shouldn't be sitting no. around. Oh. I need you now. Please. Would you please? You said you wanted to talk to me? Yes, please sit down. What I'm about to say, it's a little bit difficult for me. I hope it has nothing to do with Damien because I will not listen. Clarissa, you will listen to what your mother has to say. Because if it's not said, it will affect your life for eternity. So you must listen. Baby, it's about Damien. I'm thinking of how to tell you this, but it wouldn't give me the chance. I told you about a man who dated me, got me pregnant, broke my heart and left me. It's my first boyfriend. He took my virginity. Mom. You you've been sleeping with Damien? Yes, but I Oh my god You're my mother I could have trusted you with my life. Yes, I could have yes. said 
Victor, listen to me. Just listen to me. There's no way you would have married Danielle. You, you despicable. You're worse than the lowest slime from the pits of hell. Now, all that has been happening, it all makes sense. God, can I call you mom? Clarissa, you will not talk to your mother like that. She's not worth being called a mother. She's a devil that should be roasted with slow fire. Stop, Clarissa. Never. Never. I will never set my eyes on you again. You are not my mother. Clarissa. Clarissa, come back here. Clarissa. Memories of the yesterday has come back to haunt the present A love that was has come back with wars <laughs> Living in its thrills Heartbreak and a pain Oh no A lost love now found Yet confusion and conflicts abound A twisted love affair That could damage beyond repair Tales of a broken heart oh, a, broken heart. a mother and daughter Oh no Betrayal and Damien here. Yeah, hello, Damien. Uh, this is Uchi. I'm calling on behalf of my friend, Miriam. Uh, she had an argument with Clarissa over you and she ran away from home. So I was just wondering if she's at your place. Cool. Watch it. Hello? Hello? doesn't sound like the woman that shared my bed two nights ago, does it? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, she didn't tell you? Now listen, you scum. You've ruined that family. You've destroyed that home. Isn't that enough for you? Or what else do you want? No. Release that girl right now, or I'll use Everything that makes me a woman to deal with you. And you think that whatever it is that makes you a woman is so scary that I'm quaking in my pants right now? Hmm? Hmm? Listen to me. Whatever it is that you think Make sure you're a woman. Sit on it. Sit on it with your big fat butt. Because Damien is through with a sorry lot. That's what you are. You are a sorry lot. And if you cannot make up your own damn minds, then you might as well offer the hell.
Nothing, baby girl. Just um, my two old busybody aunties who came to ruin my peace this morning. of yesterday has come back to haunt the present a love that was has come back with wars living in its trails heartbreak and a pain oh no a lost love now found Yet confusion and conflicts abound A twisted love affair That could damage beyond repair Tales of a broken heart oh, A broken heart A mother and daughter Oh no Betrayal and daughter oh no for the mother a lost love but now found and the daughter a newfound love 
sent from above. Oh. Um, Favor, yeah. you've been around school, have you? Have you seen Clarissa? Clarissa? Have I seen her in a week? I've been to her house. Everywhere is locked up. Her line is not even going through. Mm -hmm. I hope everything is okay. Oh. Don't bother yourself. Clarissa is there enjoying herself. It's what's that his name again? Damien. You don't understand. Please stop talking like this. We're having tests. So? Four to two. So? You don't know Professor Ibiam. He's not a man to joke with. <laughs> yeah, but that though. You're bothering yourself over nothing. I beg. You're kidding yourself. You don't know. When Clarissa is ready to come to school, she will come. That's why you're saying. You, you see, you don't even know what time is. I beg. I mean, I need to. Yeah. I've been looking everywhere for you. You've been looking everywhere for me. Eh, I didn't know. See the bank shop. But there is no money, so I don't have money for you today. I beg, please don't insult me now, Joe. There's no money you're looking for. Now. Don't insult me. There is a woman out there looking for you. Which woman is that? I think her name is, she said her name, um, Auntie Uchoma. Are you serious? Why is she here? I think she's out there. Where? There. Clarissa. I haven't seen Clarissa close to a week now. After exams, I've been to the house and there's nobody there. I wonder where she is. And you don't have any idea where else you can find her? I'm the only friend she has on campus. The only other place she could be in is Damien Swiss. And she's not there. Unfortunately, she's not there. Anyway. Tell her that um, her mother is very sick in hospital when you see her, that she should come home because the doctors are demanding to see her. Oh my God. I hope it's not serious. Oh, she'll be alright, but they still need to see Clarissa. Oh. Well, I'll tell her when I see her. Okay, dear. Take care, And you too, my dear. Bye. Is safe. And you too, you're safe. Don't yes. worry, your daughter is safe. Yes, you are safe too. Sir. Don't worry. Uh, nurse. Sorry, yeah? Hello? Damien, this is Uche, Miriam's friend. Now, before you cut the line, I will implore that you listen to what I have to say. 
All right, I'm listening. What do you want? Clarissa has run away from home. Miriam is in hospital. The doctor says she, she has been in a coma and she just got out of it. He said she had a stroke, but he doesn't know the extent of the damage done. Um, I'm, I'm really, really sorry to hear that. Listen, if you have any fear of God in you, I would appreciate if we can meet on Saturday. There are a lot of things I want to talk about. Where? St. Peter's Cathedral. I guess that's the most appropriate place for us to meet by 8 p.m. Alright, I'll be there. So I do not believe there's any further need to keep her any longer. So after discharging her, then I believe uh, she will recover quickly in a more familiar environment. Okay. Um, is there any special thing she has to do, doctor? Because most of the time I won't um, be with her. I have a family to run. All she needs is a lot of rest. Okay. And the sooner her daughter is located, the better for her. Oh, we're working on that, doctor. Don't tell me that you are afraid of my charms. That's why you asked us to meet here. This is the devil, and he will flee from you. The devil? That is not a very nice personality to equate me with. After all, I, I have been the most misunderstood person in all of this. No one knows the trouble that I have been, that, 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 or having to confront my past and, and, and deal with it every day. Knowing that if I'm not careful, it might happen again. I don't know who is wrong or right. I am the cause of that. I can't just stand alone and see if you don't do anything. Oh, you've called me the devil. Now you accuse me of having no feelings. What? So what do you want from me? If you know where Clarissa is, please persuade her. And you can also help by letting her know that everything that happened wasn't Miriam's fault but yours. In other words, I should paint myself as the devil. Maybe I should just ask what you want. I want Miriam. That is what I want. I, I lost her because of my stupidity in the past. I'm not going to go through life, you know, regretting every minute of it again. No. 
Look, I, yes, I settled for Clarissa because she was the next best thing. I loved her, but now that I am confronted with my past and seeing that I still had the same feeling, I, 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 I can't, I can't do that. I, Clarissa just pales in comparison. I, I'm sorry, but it's Miriam that I want. Well, you know it can never happen. Yeah? Why? She can't have you knowing that she took a man from her daughter. Well. I can't have Clarissa knowing that I could have had Marion. Look. Okay. Listen, if it's any help, Clarissa called me last night. I could persuade her to return home. Please do. If you love Miriam like you please, then at least help restore her. Please. I'll call you when I speak to her. She has not called you since then? Mm, I haven't received any call. No, she has not called me. You searched everywhere for her. Oh. Damien, have, have you have you checked Damien's face? She's not there. Oh. She has never behaved like this before. Why should you do this to yourself? This is not the answer. I have failed. I have failed my daughter. I am not worthy to be called. I slept with a yes. That's no reason for you to kill yourself. I spoke with Damien and he said he will help us find her. No. No. I don't want to see her. I don't want to see them. I just want to die. <laughs>
God. Um, actually, I'm just leaving there now and uh, Mira is in a bad state. But I'm sure when she sees Clarissa, she'll be fine. Yeah, I'll join you there very soon. God bless you. Thank you. sorry that I have to put you through this. If there was any other option, I would have taken it. But this is the only way out. I'm sorry for what I have done to you. You were right. I do not deserve to be called your mother. I do not deserve to have you as a daughter. If Damien will have you, you have my blessing. And can go ahead and marry him. Forgive me for what I have done to you. the 